What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street and welcome to my first ever gym wear lookbook. I've got seven different outfits here on the rack for you guys including the one I'm already wearing, why I chose to style them any certain way and to which particular workout I'd be wearing those outfits. Let's get started with what I'm wearing and this is the most budget option that I have for you today. This entire outfit, shoes aside, is from Target's All In Motion Activewear line. Up top we got a long sleeve with a little thumb loop that is a high neck and a quarter zip which I think is really really nice. The fit is really good on this. On my legs we've got a pair of Bordeaux shorts. I think they're a six or seven inch length so a bit shorter but underneath we're covering up our legs with a pair of gray tights that I think just really bring the outfit to a different level. Like if I could have just worn black but I think the gray just brings it out a little bit and lets the Bordeaux stand out a bit more. On my feet we've got the Nike Zoom Pegasus running boots. Absolutely in love with these boots. I tried them out for the first time this morning and they are incredibly comfortable. So overall, a nice achromatic look, a very basic look that I would do a hit workout in, that I would go running in, but it's brought to life a little bit by the Bordeaux shorts, just to liven it up a little bit, because we're going to the gym and it's about the workout, but you also wanna look good, at least if you're like me, but probably that's you too, because you're watching this video. This next look I call the Nathan. One of my best friends from Australia, who's a fitness influencer, also has a dope style, and it shows when he goes to the gym. He makes really cool, courageous, colorful choices that inspired me to put this outfit together and on top of that it is an entire look shoes aside from Gymshark and this is my first order at Gymshark I'm really happy with all the product let's start off all the way at the top with this cap it's a new era cap so you know it's quality really nice and teal color then we've got a hoodie it's like a light blue hoodie that's a little bit in the green range so obviously you see what color combination I'm going for here on my legs we've got the really green shorts and underneath we got the compression shorts that are a nice medium blue like almost navy and on my feet we've got another pair of Nike runners the zooms this one is the vapor weave super beautiful color kind of tying in all the other colors I'm using in the outfit so this is how I'd roll up to the gym honestly you could go to an HIIT workout with this I think but obviously this is gonna get really warm really quick so I'd warm up with this hoodie probably and then take that off to reveal the long sleeve same color as the shorts almost a bit darker which I don't mind that it's a little bit different long sleeve from Gymshark as well there's a bunch of Gymshark logos everywhere now which I don't think is the worst I said this many times in the hall I think it's a cool brand so I don't mind repping it overall we got a nice green and blue combination that I think is just for me something very different you know this is very colorful it's a nice way to stand out you know get some of those eyes on you to up the pressure so you're really getting the most out of your workout that's the way I look at it and once again, big shout out to Nathan. Thank you for the inspiration to include a little bit more color in my workout outfits. You'll see that the rest of my outfits still are a little bit more on the neutral side, but let's take a look one by one. Moving on to look number three, and with that, we're switching up the silhouette and making it a little bit more relaxed with this Under Armour fit. Let's start with the shorts for this one. Light gray, they're almost like basketball shorts. They're definitely a little bit looser, but not as long as basketball shorts. Up top, we've got a long sleeve similar to the first one that we saw from Target. This is a lot more breathable, a lot more lightweight. So underneath this, I actually chose to wear another white t-shirt that is a loose fit at Under Armour, which is still like nice and fitted, I think. Doesn't mean it's like super baggy. It just doesn't directly make contact on your skin everywhere that you wear it. On my feet, I'm wearing a pair of Nike Harachis. I never really learned how to say that name properly, Huarachi, Huarate. But you know which is I'm talking about. As you probably can see, these are pretty beaten up because I've worn them a lot and I've worked out on them a lot. These are not the ideal running shoe, but this is the type of look I would wear maybe if I'm going to rumble or for boxing or boxing inspired, because rumble isn't really like boxing, it's a boxing inspired workout. This is what I would wear to that, a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more loose, and then obviously this would come off fairly quickly after the warm up, and then I'd just be in the t shirt and in the shorts for a nice and clean white and gray look. But to roll up, I like to have this little pop of color, that medium blue, which I think is a really nice color by the way, to just bring the outfit to another level. Alrighty, moving on to the next, this time in all black and in all Nike head to toe, except my underwear, but that doesn't really matter right now, does it? I've got the same running boots on that I had in the first look, the Nike Zoom Pegasus. Like I said, absolutely love them, so it's the only shoe I included in two of the outfits that you see today. Up top, I've got this running long sleeve from Nike in a matching 
short that goes with it. Like you see this like rippled fabric. It feels really nice. It looks really cool. It is really, really flexible. So I feel like there's literally no constraint, but I guess that kind of goes for everything that I've been wearing because it's active wear and there's a large amount of stretch in all of those pieces. But I really like the combination. I talked about these shorts before. I really love them. That was what first stood out to me because they kind of are like the short runner shorts. So this is my running look, but without having that weird look like I, Sue me, I, I can't get over the, you know, the marathon runners in their super short shorts. This at least has this inlay of the tights underneath, the short tights. So it makes them a little bit longer, but you still have the same flexibility and breathability that you'd have if you're wearing short shorts. Of course, minimally reduced because you're wearing fabric on your legs. <laughs> Duh. I really like the combination and underneath I'm wearing a Under Armour Rush shirt. So this Rush shirt is apparently infused with 14 different minerals that has been scientifically tested on athletes to improve performance. I have not worked out on this yet. I did work out in everything but the t-shirt today. So the rest held up fantastically, but I haven't put that to the test yet. Significantly higher price point than their basic workout tees at Under Armour. So just wanted to point that out. And lastly, I'm wearing a Hat. This I think is a golf hat, but I just like working out in hats. Helps me get in a zone and just, I don't know. I feel like, you know, just focus on yourself and get your stuff done. So a nice all black look, which I still think it might not be standout, but I still think it's very, very stylish for our option number four. With look number five, we are standing in harsh contrast, quite literally, to the look before in this almost all white or definitely light colored ensemble from Allo Yoga. Allo Yoga is definitely like here, yes, beyond the frame when it comes to price point. These were 110 and this was around $100 as well. So definitely very expensive, but I think the design there is really, really beautiful. So if you can swing it, I wanted to include it for today. And I also wanted to talk a little bit about yoga because I think yoga is a very essential workout to not only strengthening your core, but also to help stretch out your body and stay healthy through all the other workouts that you do. So it's been a big part of my workout routine to do hot yoga. So for hot yoga, I would probably roll up like this. Would I stay in this outfit throughout the entire thing? Absolutely not. First thing to come off would be the shoes. I'm wearing a pair of Adidas night joggers in light gray. They have a little gold heel, which probably was the reason why they were only 70 bucks instead of 130. Fine by me, I like the gold. I really like the combination here. I would wear the sweatshirt to get there. Underneath, I'm wearing a long sleeve from Organic Basics. It's an active wear top and it's a sustainable option for those of you that are looking for sustainable options when it comes to active wear. But most likely, if I'm doing regular yoga, I would keep this on. If I'm doing hot yoga, the shirt is coming off anyway because I don't want to sweat through the entire thing. And the only thing left is this nice combination of tights and shorts in all white. Call it out doing the Gym haul, is all white the smartest choice when you talk about activewear? Probably not, it's gonna get very dirty if you start kneeling on something or start moving around, bump into something, it's gonna get dirty, but I really, really like the look. Like I said, it's even worth it for me to spend that much money on these pieces in the first place. But when you're in a yoga room, I think the chances of you getting all that dirty are limited, and like I said, this would be the look for that, but of course you could also work out in this and hit the gym regularly. Also with these sneakers, you can run, should you run, Probably not, there's definitely other shoes that offer a lot more support, but since there's so many different night joggers in different colorways, you'll often find those uh, a little bit less popular colorways for a really, really great discount. Like these were basically half off, which I think is phenomenal. So if you're looking for a nice workout shoe to at least lift and do some light jogging in, I think these are a great option that you hopefully can scoop up for less than $130, which they originally cost. Second to last, let's go with this New Balance outfit for outdoors. So like I said, trying to go for very different workouts and what I love doing, especially since I moved to California here in LA, is going out for a hike because there's a bunch of beautiful trails, the city in the background, but being close to the nature. So I wanted to do a hiking workout outfit for you guys and New Balance fit that bill fairly well. I fell in love with this top the second I saw it. It's got like a quilted pattern with a blocked neoprene pattern. It's just beautifully designed, I think. Really nice and uh, slim fitted. Underneath, I'm wearing a loose fitted Urban Outfitters t-shirt that is in a gray color to pick up on the color of the shoes. These shoes are specifically hiking shoes. Are hiking shoes the most visually attractive? Probably not, but they need to be functional and for all the function that they have, I think they actually look really, really good. You'll see that there's a little bit of an extended heel that just adds extra grip. You've got a Vibram sole, so they're super, super comfortable. You even got toe protection around the front, so if you stumble and kind of like catch your toe on something, your toes are protected. And overall, a nice design of gray, blue, black, and some yellow in there. So on my legs, we've got a pair of really lightweight running pants slash outdoor walking pants in this case, I guess, that are super incredibly flexible. And if you 
are like me, like I like hiking in the morning because that's when the least people are there and that's when my mind is the most like in the mood for, you know, a walk. It might get cold when you're starting and then the sun might rise or rise higher than it was when you started so you get warm. So this is a really nice way to bridge that gap. You have these lightweight pants that are gonna keep you warm enough in the morning but then once it gets warmer they're not too stuffy to like trap you in that and you can always just kind of like pull them up like this. Changes the overall look a little bit but I think it still works especially if that means that you're getting a little bit more air and are able to cool down. And let's finish up on a very very casual look that you could wear throughout the entire day before you even work out without having to change your workout gear. So I've got a pair of cream Gymshark sweatpants on and then up top I've got a navy tank top also from Gymshark with the logo tonal so it's a logo is right there but it's still kept fairly subtle in a sense that it's not overwhelming the outfit. We do have a large logo down here on the left leg which I think is a really nice design detail and then I finished the look off with a pair of Puma RSX sneakers. I know these sneakers to be fashion sneakers but as I was just lacing, I was like, could you work out on them? And it literally says running system on the tongue of the shoe. So these are runners. If this is what you wanted to wear to say maybe a breakfast meeting or you want to go out and grab some coffee, I think it looks really nice. It's a solid look, especially as we're heading into spring and summer where you can wear a workout outfit that is sleeveless, especially throughout the day and it'll look good. And then you're like, hey, I have a workout at 5 p.m. that I want to hit up. You don't even need to bring a gym back. Just work out and then obviously head home and grab a shower because that's a decent thing to do. And with that, we wrap up today's video. To sum up a little bit what went on today, we've had seven different looks, all kind of for different vibes. I want to point out that, of course, you can combine any and all of these pieces in many more different ways, but I wanted to point out a few looks stylistically that I am going for. The first one was a budget look from Target where we had an achromatic look and we just kind of elevated that with a pop of color in the shorts. The second one was a Gymshark look overall, very, very colorful, very bright, to show you that you can have fun when putting your outfits together. The third look was from Under Armour, just to prove that you can also wear a little bit more of a loose fit, still look athletic, and still have a little bit of fun with color if you want to. The fourth look was the all black look from Nike. Obviously all black is an easy go-to. Contrasting that, we had the Aloe Yoga outfit in all white with a little bit of gray in it. And then we moved on to an outdoor inspired look that was mostly New Balance, combining some blue and some black, but for the purpose of the outdoors. And lastly, we finished up with a look that I'm wearing right now, something that you could wear throughout the day and then still hit up a workout. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions down below in the comment section. We'd love to know which one was your favorite outfit. And then very, very soon, I'm gonna post a workout with me video, a full length workout where you can actually just play the video and work out with me together. Very nice. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it one more time and I'll see you very soon with the next one. Until then, stay dapper while you're staying active. Bye guys.